morning everyone. Today's Thursday and um, just woke up before, had my breakfast, came upstairs, showered, checked myself in the mirror. Everything's looking pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with how this week's going. Training's been really on point. Nutrition's been really on point. I've pretty much been eating nothing but my meals, so I haven't really altered from it. fly knit races today. I love these shoes, man. They're so light, and they fit like a free run. They're not like the sock ones that you just, the, the normal fly knits that just slip on, and then you feel like you're not even wearing anything. They actually got a little bit of foam support underneath. What are my darling girls going to do all day? Make sure you behave, yeah? All right, guys, I just got home. Got my chicken, rice, and veggies. Pepsi Max. So today is the first day that I'm gonna be not adding salt to my food. Now, when it comes to sodium, I believe that you don't wanna take it out completely, or on the day, you're probably gonna just end up looking really flat, and you're not gonna hold any water in the muscle. Um, there's always about a 70-30% ratio between holding water in the muscle and holding water in the skin. By taking out sodium altogether, I reckon you're just going to decrease the actual levels of water in your body and not change that ratio much. So I just reduce the sodium a little bit by not adding it to my food. Now, there's still sodium in your foods, like in chicken and that. I'm still adding that sugar-free sauce that's got sodium in it. So I'm still keeping sodium in my food, but just at a lot less um, quantities by not adding the actual salt to All my right, food. Guys, I just did the hair removal process. Took freaking ages, but hey, I swear it adds a good 10% more muscle. Hey guys, I'm just at uh, the workshop at Active Motor Work. Just got uh, my car fixed, so picking her up. She's all good to go now. It's just a water pump that was broken. It sent me back about 1300. But um, yeah, at least that only took a day to get the parts put in and installed. Hopefully she's running good now. Hey guys, what's going on? In good old tradition, I got my INBA jersey on from Nationals last time. I'm doing my meal prep for tomorrow because tomorrow is a little bit of a different day for me. I'm doing my carb up. I like to be prepared and just organize my meals so that everything I know is precise and that I'm not just kind of guessing as I go. That way, you know, I've measured it all out and I'm confident with um, what I've put in there. So I've got a lot of carbs to eat tomorrow. So I've cooked up my proteins. I've got three meals here. Plus I'm gonna have just my oats for breakfast. I've got Fish, chicken, chicken, and I've just put some cherry tomatoes and onions in there with those. Um, and then I'm going to put 500 grams of cooked steamed sweet potato in each. So one and a half kilos total. I've cooked up most of it there. Now I've got to cook up the rest. And then I'll be putting some asparagus in there as well. Asparagus is really good for... Um, it's like an almost like a natural diuretic. It helps clear out any excess fluid that you're carrying. So I'm gonna load those up with the sweet potatoes as the carbs, then I've got my proteins and the veg will just be asparagus. Alright, here we have it. So I got my three meals with my sweet potato, uh, asparagus, chicken, fish, and then I've got 200 grams of Nutrigrain to consume tomorrow. Now, you guys are probably wondering why. Are you eating Nutri-Grain? Basically, Nutri-Grain is just proteins and carbs. Alright, what? Can we see that there? There we go. So, 27 grams of carbs. You do get sugars, but you do get sugar in your sweet potato as well, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. The main thing to look out for here is you only get one gram of carb uh, fat per 100 grams so it's basically just carbs and protein so it's a good thing to use on your carb up 
something a little bit different, crunchy, a bit tasty, and then you get three regular meals. Morning, girls. I know it's a bit early. Ooh, stretch. What's up, guys? It's about 6.15 a.m., and I'm up early because I can't wait to eat. Oh, yeah. Now that looks like a good time. Oh, my goodness. My God, I just do a dug into it, put the PB2 sauce, mixed it in there, put some stevia. Absolutely amazing. And I'll throw some Nutri-Grain in there. This is the best day of my life. Now I'm going to throw some Nutri-Grain in here. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm just eating my lunch. First meal of the day. Or second meal of the day, but first like proper meal. So I'm having my fish first and then I'm going to save the chicken for afterwards. I've just got, give you guys a quick look. Asparagus. Sweet potato, fish, and in terms of toppings, I've put cane pepper, just herbs and spices, no salt, and a bit of the sweet chili um, light sauce. So there is a bit of sodium in there. I am training today, so I want to be holding water. Um, I'm not cutting out sodium altogether, like I said yesterday. I'm just not adding extra salt to my food but there is some in the in the sauces and in your in your foods in general anyway so you want to hold water otherwise you won't be able to get a pump well, guys we're currently two days out from uh, the NBA Mr. Victoria Tigers and I decided I'm gonna film a little bit of this arm session
All right, guys, we're moving on to triceps now. I did a couple of sets on push downs for my third set. I'm going to bump it up away because it's feeling really good. High carb day, feeling the connection. Girl, that make me do the hula hoop around the gym Just to get a pick again, she's a 10 High school, she was that girl that make me do the hula hoop around the gym Just to get a pick again, she's a 10 Never thought that she would come and work for the president Just to drive Washington Where my money at? She knows He calls What's up, I'm a 10 You know what told me? High school, 7th grade Around 8th, and you thought I thought I fooled y'all 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 Thought I thought I fooled Finished my arm workout, did a little bit of hammies, because normally I train hammies on Friday, but I didn't actually train them, so I just kind of put some blood in there, did a little bit of calves as well, and then just stretched out my quads thoroughly, stretched out the fascia, because after doing a cardio last night, they were just feeling a little bit tight, so I just wanted to put some blood into my legs and then stretch the fascia so that they're nice and loose, and then they look a little bit more full, because when the fascia is tight after doing cardio, they can look restricted. So yeah, felt amazing to just give them a good stretch. Pretty good arm session. We didn't get that much footage because, you know, I just wanted to focus on the training. But got my next meal here. Look how big it is. Boom. Chicken, asparagus, and sweet potato. A little bit of tomatoes in there. Still putting the sweet chili sauce on there. Uh, so it's snack time. 7 o'clock. Had my dinner about an hour and a half ago. Going to be eating some Nutri-Grain. And I've made up... A little bit of secret sauce for it. It's just PB2. Mixed with a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of water. I'm gonna put the Nutri-Grain in there and just eat the shit out of there. It's gonna look so good. Look at that. Mix it in. And that is a nice little treat. Look at little Millie. She's tired. You exhausted, love. Sleepies. Morning, guys. It is the day before the comp, Saturday, and it's about five o'clock in the morning. The dogs up again, barking, couldn't sleep. Went to bed at about 11 last night and I fell asleep for about an hour and then 
I woke up and you know when you fall asleep and then you wake up again it's very hard to get back to sleep I just kept oh, I don't know I just couldn't sleep so I just figured three o'clock four o'clock five o'clock came I'm gonna get up eat freshen up a little bit and then maybe go back to bed for an hour or two before I have to go get this spray tan so I'm gonna eat my oats and then we'll see how I go this definitely beats lying in bed rolling around doing nothing might as well just get up and eat hey eh? hey guys what's going on so I went to go get my uh, spray tan this morning I had to kind of rush out of here a little bit so I didn't make any videos or anything but as you can see I'm all tanned up We'll make a video a bit later, but yeah, I got the color on. It's looking pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Big thanks to um, Scott from Men's Waxing. Um, where's the card gone, Mum? Men's Waxing and Grooming is his uh, business name. If you want to look it up on Facebook, he does really good spray tans um, for bodybuilders and girls as well. I'm um, just cooking up my meals for the day now, so I haven't actually eaten since 5 o'clock and it's currently, what time is it? 20 to 1. 20 to 1. So I'm going to have my sweet potato as my second meal with a bit of chicken and asparagus. Then I'll um, lay off the carbs for the rest of the afternoon and just pretty much have uh, protein and veg. That way I look nice and depleted tomorrow. Um, when I wake up and then I'll just start carbon up in the morning give myself some energy for the day um, so this is my meal just a sweet potato and chicken and asparagus this will be the last carb meal of the day and then I'm going to let it all clear out um, so I'm not holding on to too much water over the night I'll try and clear out some water and then carb up tomorrow Alright guys, it's been about an hour, an hour and a half since I ate my last meal, so I'm going to do uh, a little bit of posing practice now. I've got the trunks on, sun's out, beautiful day, set up the camera and um, just pretty much film myself and then look back over it and just fine tune anything that I think might need fixing. So, I'll get into it.
Soon. 